The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is in Africa on a working visit. In Senegal, he has overseen the signing of several private sector deals with American firms. The road building, power and health care projects were announced at a time when China and Russia are deepening their political and economic ties with the African continent. Later this month in Senegal and Mauritania, 1,600 troops from various African countries are due to take part in an American-led military training exercise focusing on countering Islamist extremist groups. The U.S. has indicated it intends to scale back its troop presence in Africa. However, the move has been criticized by France, which is leading the international res response to the growing threat of jihadist violence in the region. For more on this, we speak to international affairs analyst Calvin Dack. Thanks, Calvin, for joining us on the program. Thank you. Yeah. What is your view about Mr. Pompeo's visit to Africa? Some have described it as mixed following Washington's strategies on the continent. Well, I think it's generous to call it a strategy simply because it. What they're calling a strategy, the Trump administration, seems to be a series of rather broad, vague uh, objectives, followed by sporadic visits that really don't have a connection. And so I think that while the administration should be, um, you know, it should be recognized that they are at least making an attempt to increase U.S. Africa ties, we can see that it's not a priority. Um, especially given what's going on in our domestic political situation, but also that President Trump doesn't ever refer to Africa, at least in the context of opportunity, that Mike Pompeo is on the continent now trying to enforce that message. Yeah, and many analysts view Pompeo's visit as a bid to counter Chinese influence in Africa. And in the past, he had already warned of Chinese growing influence. Do you share the same opinion? Yes. And, you know, um, among President Trump's um, advisors, Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, uh, this is something that he genuinely believes in, that these relationships that African countries are developing with China are not mutually beneficial like they seem. And you can see in what he's already done during his visit on the continent that he has warned African leaders about that and tried to establish economic partnerships to um, encourage less uh, dependence on China. The problem is, is that until the United States actually offers alternatives that match the scope and quantity of what Chinese investment is, I don't think anyone's really going to take Mike Pompeo's warning seriously. Yeah, and, and also his visit comes at a tense moment with Mulin military cuts in the rest of Sahel region and imposing travel bans on former African countries, including Nigeria. What do you make of the countries Pompeo is visiting, Angola, Ethiopia, and Senegal? What do you make of this? Well, I think that particularly with Angola and as well with Senegal, they represent areas where more private sector U.S. investment could uh, improve uh, U.S. relations with those countries. And I think that Pompeo's main goal is to facilitate that. It may be more effective if he facilitated greater partnerships and increased economic partnerships with the U.S. government, but it doesn't look like that's his goal. When it comes to Ethiopia, it definitely has a security um, theme to it. The problem is, is that when you look at the travel bans, the new countries that are added, including you know, Nigeria, it's really hard to make the argument that the U.S. is increasing its partnership for security, for shared protection of interest, while they're also alienating so many on the continent. And we have yet to see if this is because of a strategic move to where the U.S. sees its interest more in danger in other parts of the world, or if this is just tactical and there's no strategy behind it. Yeah. All right, then, Calvin Dark, international affairs analyst, thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you.